Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all are here today. Come spend the day on the homestead with us. We got another busy day ahead. Who knows what's in store? So y'all just come on. I'm gonna show y'all what I got going on in the kitchen. Uh, on the inside, some days I'm busy in here and Andy's busy outside. It's not all we're not always together. Um, but I'm canning some of my pink eyed peas. My canner's not full, it'll be fine, just in my experience. Um, and I'm also gonna be dry canning some potatoes. Some method I've never tried before, I've seen it floating around a lot of different places. I'm gonna give it a try. I usually can them in water. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how this goes, but you gotta soak them first. So I'm letting them, letting them soak. I got a sink full of dishes. I've got to wash. I washed dishes at least five times yesterday, and it's still full <laughs> this time of year, right? Um, and then I've got a few more tomatoes to work on. I'm gonna make Jacob some salsa and can it because the youngin loves salsa, and the salsa in the ball canning book or book of preserving, I think is what it's called. Um, that recipe is delicious. So. Yep, I'm just letting this heat up and then get those going just one little step at a time. This time of year, I feel like I need two stoves instead of just one. I always try to keep it clean as I can around these here gardens. Uh, keep these weeds that's coming up around the edge from seeding out. But look at this, look at this right here. That's a red snapper tomato. Look at that right there. That thing is as big as my hand. It's simply amazing how fast these weeds will grow this time of year. Especially when you don't have any type of covering over the dirt. Like right here, we've got straw. You can see how clean, well not straw, hay. You see how clean that stayed. But nope, not when you leave it bare ground. It's not gonna stay clean for long. So we just keep it, when it gets this time of year, we just kind of keep it weed eated down, trying to keep everything from seeding out. On to the next one.
Um, one thing I want to say to encourage anybody who uh, still works during the week and the only time you have to work on your homestead is either late in the evenings or on the weekends, just remember, when it's hot outside, you ain't alone. I'm about to die out here. I would a lot rather be in the house sitting in the air conditioning, but uh, this stuff's got to get done because if these weeds don't stay under control, they will take over. And so we're trying to get them before they start seeding out. Unfortunately, we are. But anyways, guys, my phone's about to die, so I'm going to cut this part of the video off right here. y'all this is part something that you don't never typically see going on around here if you don't know it and you can't tell it from the videos i love old tractors and anytime i ever come across one that's priced right that i have the money to buy at the time i typically uh jump on it um now take for granted things the last few years have not been priced right but um this tractor right here has actually been in my family for a while um, it's distant family, but still been in my family for a very, very, very long time. And it's been sitting right here under this shelter now for probably 10 years or more without being started. And so the last few weekends, I've been over here just piddling when I had time trying to get this thing started. And I've had to replace a few parts here and there. Well, my next thing is I believe I've got to pull the starter off and uh, go carry the starter and have it rebuilt. So while I've got an extra 30, 45 minutes or so, I'm going to get this thing pulled off and hopefully Megan's going to be able to take it and have it, um, drop it off at the uh, shop to have it worked on sometime this week. And just in case y'all are wondering, this is an old John Deere 1010. I think it's about a 1962 model. 1962. 60, 62 is somewhere right in there. I'm not sure, honestly. But, uh, there's no telling how many acres of tobacco this tractor is cultivated. Because so that's what it was, a cultivating tractor. It's set up a lot like my farm all with the uh, cultivators down here underneath the tractor. And then you got some on the back to plow the tractor tracks out.
Well, y'all, it's about the end of the day. We decided to ride up here and check on this cover crop. That we, This is the potato patch that y'all saw in the earlier video. And uh, it's looking really good. Here by the end of, well, probably another week, this will be solid matter green. It almost is now. That's what we wanted. But this is cow peas and buckwheat planted out here. And um, this will grow for, I don't know, a month or, well, it'll probably be about two months. And then I'll plant a wintertime cover crop over top of it. Um, and we'll just work all this into the soil and continually keep building that soil up with our cover crops. But anyways, we just wanted to come up here and check it out. We're getting a shower of rain. It's actually just let up raining, and I think we're going to be getting more. So um, we just wanted to come up here while we had a little break in the rain and check it out. I guess we will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching.